When it comes to moral standards, we Kenyans love taking the higher ground because most of us claim to be Christians and we only make babies in the holy position. Missionary style! Dunde! <laughs> Hi all doing and welcome to this edition of Simon Says So Morals aka okay, those things that everyone claims to have while judging someone else I don't think you're dressed morally because the Bible says that you should not lead others into sin So she's leading other people into sin by showing off her kneecaps Yes, she should only show her kneecaps to her husband But how is she supposed to get a husband in the first place if there's nothing to see? She just has to get down on her knees and the Lord will provide Well I'm sure she gets down on her knees alright now here in Kenya, we have a self-proclaimed moral police in the name of Ezekiel Motua. This is the guy who regulates what content will be aired out in public for public consumption. So basically, he's the dad with the remote and we're all waiting for him to just leave the room. Yeah, so nobody really likes him. Even his hairline has broken up with him. But he still has the remote to decide what Kenyans are to watch. That's why a lot of Kenyan content creators hate him so much. And some of those creators are the creators of the Kenyan film Rafiki. Now this movie is primarily based on a love story between two Girls. When Ezekiel Mutua had this, he said, In the name of Jesus, I rebuke lesbianism. We are a Christian nation that believes in penis and vagina. So he went on to ban the movie. But the creators of Rafiki would not be denied. So they ran off the court to challenge the man with no hairline. The judge looked at the case and he was like, Hi, Sasa, surely. The movie is called Rafiki, which means friend. What people think is that monkey in the Lion King. Surely no one would turn gay from this. What you want to own it? They can just ran off to watch Rafiki and do some brand new pornography. Boy, were there some frustrated erections. Because the movie is a love story. Hey, but the band Ezekiel Motua put on it, it made it look like it was some hardcore lesbian pornography. And some people went to watch the movie because they're looking for some hot, steamy sex scene. And they were disappointed like a girl who's just seen a small penis. Guys, yeah, that's it! Other people want to watch Rafiki out of pure curiosity. So what's the fuss about this movie? Let me go and see. Then there's the majority who want to watch the movie so they can shove Ezekiel Motua's hairline further back. These are the people that see Ezekiel Motua then their blood boils with hate. You're the reason the Kenyan film industry is failing! Niwewe! Shindwe! No more! Yeah, the hate is real. But you have to give it up to Ezekiel Motua. If it wasn't for him, we would not have watched The Wolf of Wall Street. That's how this soul video that had a lot of melanin butt cheeks. And thanks to him, we're now selling out theaters to watch Rafiki. And that's a wrap up from this edition of Simon Says. Make sure you like this video. I love it when you like this video, like this video, and like this video. And please share this video around. Share to Ezekiel Mutua. Yes, he has not watched Rafiki. I think he has, but he was like, maybe subliminally liked the movie. But then his morals told him that, oh my god, you're not supposed to like this movie. Kind of thing. He's like, oh my Jesus. Forgive me for I have watched sin. Yes, that's probably him. He only uses the missionary position. That's the holy position. Anyway, please leave a comment right in the comment. Obunifu, my success did. She did it. You can do it too. You can do it. Just leave a comment. Finger hit. Finger me a comment. Finger me a comment. Finger me a comment. Finger me a comment. Please do that. I love it when you comment, alright? Please do that. I love that communication. It's really, really good. And please. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video and like my Facebook page too, okay? And on that note, Simon says, 